So this is Stanley, and we describe it as tooling for the modern designer. And what Stanley afforded was this opportunity for designers, copywriters, and the client to co-create pages on NikeJordan.com. But before we get into the details, I'd like to tell you a little bit about ourselves, why we made Stanley, and what our roles were for Stanley. So my name is Matthew Harwood, and I'm on the left. And this is Jeffrey Kwa. He's here over on the right. And at the time, this project was made for our final presentation during our creative technology internship. And really, creative technology is this intersection between design, technology, and art. And because of this, we, we, we split the project up by front end and back end. And I primarily took the front end, the visual design and the creative, where Jeffrey took the back end the tech, in the tech architecture and direction. However, we are very cross. Um, we, we worked on both of these, where he worked on the front end a lot, and I worked on the back end quite often. And this idea came out of this fragmented process that we noticed on the Jordan team when we worked for them. And when we did this presentation, we, had, we were in front of our our office, about 400 people all sitting there listening to us talk, and we asked everyone, how many people here have used this software, CQ5? And almost half the room raised their hand. And we then asked, how many people here enjoy using CQ5? And they almost all put their hands down, and some even cringed. So CQ5, to give some context, is this large-scale web content management system, a CMS, controlled by Adobe and created by Adobe. And at KQA, we use CQ5 for Nike Jordan, and we also use it for Audi USA. And it enables us to organize, edit, and publish pages on these platforms. And CQ5 lives in this particular part of the process. And what typically happens, say it's March Madness, Jordan needs a page on the Jordan site, so they will send us some assets and we'll create some ideas around a campaign, make some wireframes and make some mock-ups and we'll send those for, for approval. Jordan will then want to see those in context. They want to see the responsiveness. They want to try to play with it and break it. So we'll take those and we'll put them in the CQ5. They'll, they'll break something or they'll see something that they want to change and we'll have to go through the process again of making mock-ups through multiple different breakpoints and this process can repeat and while I showed it pretty linearly, or explained it pretty linearly, we all know that it feels a bit more like on the picture on the right. And I believe that our concerns at the time went beyond the process. I mean, CQ5 is an extremely powerful tool, but it comes at a cost. We would constantly get blockers like this, an email saying that, the, that CQ5 is down for 72 hours, and this would leave uh, writers, this would leave designers, and even the client blocked so they can't do something. So Jimmy, the creative director on Jordan at the time, says that there has to be a better way and he knew that we would be able to do it. So he asked us if we had any ideas. He asked us, how can we really simplify this process internally with, with our own teams and with the client? How can we take that complexity and really just simplify it? And how can we take this overhead of responsive design and enable designers so that they can create these responsive designs only once? Because in the end, we really want to create the best experiences and products for our clients, and changing very simple things in a design or on the web is just not the way to do that. So we made Stanley. It really bridges the gap between designers, content authors, and clients with hopes to rapidly visualize pages without having to solely rely on Photoshop or CQ5 in the process. And I'd love to give you a live preview in the next video, but I'd just like to show you this last slide of the tech stack. And that's all. Thank you.